John Jay said that reading and studying the Constitution would not only help you recognize when your freedoms are being violated, but be better prepared to defend and assert them. Imagine walking down the street not only knowing what your rights are, but how you can defend them. I've told stories about standing up to illegal mask mandates, overly curious FBI agents, and questionable U.S. attorney's offices. That freedom was made possible by knowing my rights and being prepared to defend and assert them. That knowledge came from an honest and forthright study of what the Constitution actually says. Not what I'd been taught in school or what experts like those at DHS said, but reading the actual documents. Because of that, I live free. That's not to say there aren't those who would attempt to take my freedom because of the lies they have been told. Rather than being defenseless, I have the truth on my side. I'm hoping to have a few million Americans on my side as well. Most people are familiar with the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Emperor's New Clothes. Having been conned into believing he was wearing a fine set of clothes, the emperor walked through the village not knowing he was undressed. None of the town's folks admitted that they could not see the emperor's clothes until a small boy pointed out the truth. The emperor was naked. Once this spell was broken, the entire town took up the cry. Today, many in the federal government walk around believing they are wrapped in robes of power, some because of their own arrogance, others because experts have told them so. Most of the American people seem to go along with the lie. Not because they can see the power robes, but because of the lies they have been told. I hope today I've pointed out in some small way how naked federal actors are. The spell will be broken, and you will join me in pointing that out as well. While being a single voice showing the naked power grab of Washington, D.C. may allow me to live free, it will take the courage of millions of Americans to help break the spell nationwide. It will not be easy, and there will be risks involved. If we wish to live up to the words of the national anthem and be the land of the free, we must once again become the home of the brave. That means being brave enough to not only seek for the truth yourself, but to stand up and point out when the federal emperor is as naked as they was born.